What's good, good gamers? <laughs> we're going to Let's Best see. Buy today. We got the entire journey today. But yeah, we're going to Best Buy because there's a really good deal on a laptop. Um, and locker it. And it's a locker. Yeah. It's inside the Best Buy locker, which we've never used before, which I think I'm gonna need my phone back to open the locker, but we'll deal with that when we get there. <laughs> but first, take a word from today's sponsor, if we decide to use it there. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Micro Center, our favorite place to shop for PC hardware in person. Right now, Micro Center is running some awesome Black Friday deals on desktops, monitors, and other PC components so you can get the best value for your money. Micro Center is also running a great deal for new customers only on the Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for only $199 or the Ender 3 V2 for only $99, both being very competitive prices to get started in the 3D printing space. Also keep an eye out for that new Charlotte location that will be opening in early 2024. Be sure to check the links in the description down below to learn more. Big thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? On the road again. But yeah, we're going to Best Buy because they had some like Black Friday Cyber Monday deals that may or may not be going on by the time this video goes live. We're trying to keep it as close to the date of us picking it up as possible. But for 450 bucks, has like a Ryzen 7000 series Ryzen 5 CPU with an RTX 2050, 8 gigs of RAM, and HP Victus. So 450 bucks seems like a really good deal. And we're testing out the lockers at Best Buy, which is like an outdoor locker setup where you walk up, punch a code in, and it opens up, and you just take the laptop and leave. I just feel like we need the context of the fact that we spent almost 900 at Target for a. 2050 laptop. Yes, we spent $900 almost for that. But yeah, we're gonna pull up there. We're gonna play a game that McAllister wants us to play. We're gonna stick our heads next to the lockers because we don't know which one's gonna open, right? We're gonna mm -hmm. stick our heads next to it after we hit the code and see if our heads get hit. Do Sounds we... like a fun game, right, oh. Jonah? Pulling up to Best Buy with our <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Locker pickup, start here. Oh yeah, look, curbside and locker. So we have to lift up the little sunshade. Um, when I do guess we do I'll that? have to put my head against it. I'm gonna put right here. <laughs> you think it's gonna be a top one? I think it's gonna be a top one. You ready? Yeah. It's locating it. Oh, oh it was behind us. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. It, it, it hit Jonah's gut. Guys, the future is now. Very simple. We got our laptop. Let's get back to the go. studio and uh, see if it was worth the money. We didn't even have to talk to anyone. Oh. See, for all the people with anxiety, this is it. Lockers. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that guy's right here. Taco Bell. Egg has been acquired. There he is. Is there anything you want to say? Yo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's go back and uh, yeah, do a video. <laughs> this, this laptop says not to use a box cutter. So, but what, what should we use to open this thing up? A larger box cutter. That's a knife. My favorite story is this knife was always so safe to use, and then the, like one of the first times Jonah was ever filming, I cut myself with it. Someone send us a uh, knife sharpener, please. But um, <laughs> yes, this is an HP Victus. It features a Ryzen 5 7535 HS, which is a mouthful, I will say. Six core, 12 thread with an RTX 2050, eight gigs of RAM and a 144 hertz display. And we got it for 450 bucks. Yeah, so we're probably gonna be looking at single channel RAM, of course, because for that price, you know, you really can't complain too much. And that's why we will have some links down below for, you know, how you can upgrade it. Yeah, so we get a uh, HP charger that is 150 watts. That's actually quite a bit. So this thing might have some power packed behind it. Got some power. So yeah, we got that 7000 series Ryzen, which I do believe it's technically not 7000 series, um, but it is Gen 4. So you do have that support. Um, and hopefully it comes with a Gen 4 SSC, but we'll see when we dive into it. But it's the traditional Victus form factor that we know and love. Yeah, just like a nice gray, sleek laptop that you could definitely go to like a Starbucks or something like that and not look like a super nerd, you know, pulling up with your Alienware or something. Yeah, we pulling up with your Alienware, but very sleek design overall. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's go over some of the ports. So on the left-hand side of the laptop, we have a combo headphone jack. We have a USB 3 that's also a charging port. We have our power jack. We have just some ventilation in the back. Looks pretty sleek. And then on the right side, we have a HDMI full size, another USB 3. We have a collapsible Ethernet port, and then we have a USB Type-C. Yeah, the bottleneck in this thing is probably gonna be that 2050. Um, it's basically a 1650, but just very much slightly better. Very much slightly Slightly better, <laughs> slightly better than a 1650. So um, yeah, you'll be able to play eSports titles. I imagine Fortnite will be fine. Well, if it turns on, it right dead. Now it's not, it's dead. It dead. Um, it sat in that locker too long. Yeah, it's just kind of a example of them trying to get away from the GTX line and have everything be RTX and technically sports ray tracing, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, ray tracing is definitely gonna cause some lag on this thing. And uh, this is a 144 Hertz, 15.6 inch mm -hmm. display too. So ideally you wanna not have RTX on so that you can just get the highest FPS possible. Let's see what color backlighting here. We're gonna get white or red. Yeah. It, could, it could be none. Or, or I don't even just, know if it has backlighting. Or it could just be so dead. It's on. It's on. It's on. Maybe it needs a minute. Up uh, a white. White backlighting. 
and a lit up screen. Oh my gosh. Shout out to the Victus. <laughs> they just need a little bit of time, you know, it's been sitting in a locker for a while. I love how big of a trackpad this thing has. So far, so good. So yeah, we'll go and get into Windows and verify all the specs real quick, see what kind of SSD we have, the RAM, which is most likely single channel. And then from there, we're gonna play some games that we think make sense on this thing and uh, talk about the value again, because 450 bucks, I think so far, it's looking pretty good. Recording, task manager section with Skelly. All right, guys, we are now taking a look in Task Manager to see what we have. We have the Ryzen 5 7535 HS, which is a six core 12 thread. In terms of RAM, it looks like 4,800 megahertz. So we got DDR5, which I was not expecting. That makes single channel much better. We got storage wise. We still could use some more capacity though. We're using, what do we have, five of 7.2? Yeah, and DDR5 <laughs> sodium is not that expensive. So yeah. upgrading is not that bad, but for single channel, it should be fine. We just got some bloatware in the background. Um, this is an SK Hynix. Look up the model number, here we go. Yeah, you know, I wish drives just said Gen 4, you know? Oh wait, yeah, Gen 4. Gen yeah. 4. So Gen 4, yeah, we got Gen 4 NVMe SSD. We have our RTX 2050, which right now we are screen recording this, so that's why that 2050 is at 31% usage. We're using <laughs> that NVENC encoder. And then we have the um, graphics from- The integrated graphics. The integrated graphics from AMD. <laughs> we have the integrated Radeon graphics for the Ryzen CPU. So all in all, specs look pretty good, but we're gonna go ahead and install some games and hopefully get that a little bit lower by getting rid of some bloatware. And then from there, we'll see how it performs. All right, guys, we're playing Overwatch and we are currently on Ultra with FSR 1.0. We got the 144, where you, we are doing the native resolution of 1080p, no upscaling or downscaling. And I decided to turn NVIDIA Reflex on to enabled plus boost. And um, there's like this thing that Overwatch does sometimes where like when you first load in, like for the first time ever, I think it loads textures. And that's why our CPU is just so high and the FPS isn't great. So yeah. let's give it a minute. Yeah, give it a minute, it might fix itself. We'll see. Um, it that Ryzen 7 should be able to handle this a bit better, but we'll see once we uh, let everything load in. It could be the Ultra settings too. Ultra yeah. is a little Pretty crazy. Demanding. Yeah, so if it doesn't fix itself, we'll change some settings. But if it does, then great. We got us a good PC on our hands. But if it doesn't fix itself, bad Horrible PC. computer. Locker experience, awful. <laughs> I think one thing that's helping this thing a lot is the DDR5 memory single channel. If it was uh, DDR4, we'd definitely be having a, a little bit of a rough time. It would be a much more like, you need to upgrade right away type deal. You think he's gonna see me coming? Oh, uh, got him. Yeah. Didn't hit her. Blasphemy. Guaranteed win, guaranteed win. I feel the need to charge. Three. Now we're looking better. It seems like the game's pretty much balanced out now. And it looks like, yeah, to see now, our 2050's close to being maxed out, which is how it really should be. Ooh. Ooh. Hot wheels, beat that. I'm gonna try real quick, I wanna turn off the, oh. Ooh. I wanna turn off that, uh. Reflex? Yeah, I kinda see if it does anything. Mm. No, no, honestly, it feels a little worse. Yeah. I guess reflex actually helps. Yeah. See, I would turn it back on, but we got a game to win. I know what I have to do. Oh, the absolute bullying. Ow, oh God, okay. they're better. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought you were gonna just <laughs> throw it away. That was a quick calm game right there. Yeah, Easy peasy with Overwatch. Teammate, so we'll, we'll take the wins that we can get, guys. Let's play some Fortnite. Woo. All right, guys, we are in Fortnite OG on 1080p DX11 uh, because we're running an NVIDIA GPU and DX11 seems to run a bit better uh, for NVIDIA GPUs compared to AMD. Uh, we are on quality TSR, so we're getting a little bit of help from upscaling and we're on like a performance setting here. We're on like far view distance, medium textures, everything else off. And we're just trying to get close to the 100 FPS average. I don't expect us to get perfectly there because of the 2050. It's gonna hold us back a little bit and single channel memory, even though it is DDR5. It's still gonna hurt a little bit here, but hopefully once we land, things will be nice and smooth. And yeah, performance mode is an option here, but with these like quote unquote higher end systems or ones that actually have dedicated GPUs, I really don't like going performance mode unless um, I'm really struggling to get like 60 plus FPS. But I believe in this situation, we are gonna have at least 90 to 100 FPS once we land. And that's all we're really asking for. And performance mode really nukes the quality, like really bad. Oh, uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. What's going on here, bud? Oh no, I'm so scared. Is this the world's largest port of port? It really is. What, what is going on here? And all I have is an SMG? Oh, they're above you. Are you kidding? Oh my God. Yeah, buddy. Oh, 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 speaking of other things happening. 
run. <laughs> Where'd you go? Who is that up there in the tree? Oh! Oh! Leave me alone! My putty at 5 HP. Oh! Yeah, let's go! Dang. Oh! I'm scared. Eight bullets. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I got no HP. Were you scared? Sup? <laughs> oh my god, those real player would be terrified. Oh god, they build. Oh, uh, then they don't miss their shots. Oh, but they got a couple kills. Fortnite was pretty playable, I will say. Um, just gotta optimize your settings properly. But what we're gonna go do is run some other demanding titles while this person's getting shot at. Look at them build. Oh god, look at them, they're going. But yeah, we're gonna um, play some more demanding games and just admire the fact that this is Fortnite. All right, guys, I'd say the Best Buy Locker experience went pretty well, and I'm really glad that we ended up with this Victus, especially the fact that it has a Gen 4 SSD and DDR5 RAM is pretty crazy for the price. Yeah, so overall for 450 bucks, I think we got a really good deal, and if you wanna shop around for this laptop or any other laptop that might be on sale at Best Buy, check the link in the description down below. They will be affiliate links. They will help us out. Again, as we mentioned, shopping for laptops during Black Friday, you're gonna get some good value for your money, so definitely take a look at that link down below to see all the different options that Best Buy has to offer, and let us know what you think of this deal in the comment sections down below. As always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Speaking of those Black Friday deals and Cyber Monday deals, PCBros.Tech, we're having quite a few awesome sales. PCBros.Tech, we're going to have awesome sales, and I'll give you some teasers in future videos, but we're going to have free shipping on pretty much all our computers. That's going to be a really big one for you guys. And you can use code ToastyBros2 on checkout and save 2% on your next purchase before Black Friday. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out. <laughs>